Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I want to preach to you uh, from God's Word in Mark chapter 13. Signs of the Times and the End of the Age. Of course, we all know rumors of wars and kingdoms against kingdoms and earthquakes in various places and there will be famines and things of that nature that's going on right now in our on our planet. But these are the beginning of sorrows. Now, what I want to focus on is here that uh, Jesus said that, uh, but watch out for yourselves. I'll show you here. Watch out, watch out, watch out for yourselves, for they will deliver you up to counsel, and you will be beaten in the synagogues. You will be brought before rulers and kings for my name's sake. For a testimony to them. And the gospel must be preached in all nations. But when they arrest you and deliver you up, do not worry beforehand or premeditate what you will speak. But whatever is given you, in that hour speak that for it is not you who speak but the Holy Spirit basically this is people that are born again that have the Holy Spirit living inside them the Holy Spirit would speak for them like myself now brother will betray brother to death and a father his child and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death you will be hated by all for my name's sake but he who endures to the end shall be saved now some people think that word en enduring to the end it means like for instance Enduring until you die. Until you die. You know, doesn't say, but who endures till your death. No, to the end. The end of what? What is Jesus talking about? The end of the age. Who He who endures to the end of the age will be saved. Not the end of your life. The end of your the age. And when is that? See, now here's what gets me is. This is titled The Great Tribulation, but Jesus never said here that this is the Great Tribulation. He said, for in those days there will be tribulation. He never said Great Tribulation. He just said Tribulation. And what gets me too is that there's a lot of people that want to say, well, okay, all this happens, and then, of course, you know, we're going to be rescued before here. We should be rescued before here. Well, no, Jesus never said we're going to be rescued before the tribulation. Otherwise, this part... All this right through here should be after this part here. But it's not. Why? Because Jesus said we will go through tribulation. Jesus said we will be going through tribulation. But, 
He said here, unless the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh would be saved, but for the elect's sake, whom he chose, he shortened the days. So, what is Jesus saying here? That we're going to go through tribulation, but we're not going to go through all of the tribulation. We're not going to go through all the tribulation. He's going to shorten the tribulation for us. And that's where the three and a half years come into play. Three and a half years of tribulation for the believers. The one who endures to the end shall be saved. When? The end of the tribulation. The end of the age for the believer. And then, and then, Jesus says, But in those days, which is the end of the age days, after that tribulation, he doesn't say before the tribulation, he says after. What, what gives me is, a lot of people want to say, well, we're going to be out of here before. Let me ch I'm trying to change that color there a little bit so you can see a little bit better. After that, after that, after that, after that. Now how much more plainer can you get it? After that tribulation. After the tribulation that we will be going through. The sun will be darkened. And the moon will not give off its light. Because where does the moon get its light from? The sun. So if the sun is darkened, the moon will not give off its light. The stars, the stars of heaven will fall. And the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great glory. Power and glory, excuse me. Great power and glory. And then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds. Basically, what Jesus is saying there, this is the rapture. This is the rapture of the church after the three and a half years tribulation. This is in Mark 13. Jesus plainly says it. Right there. But, you know, what's going to happen first is, you know, the beginning of sorrows. We will be persecuted for his namesake. You know, brother against brother, father against child, child against parents. I've already experienced that in my family. Spouse against a, a, an unbelieving spouse against a believing spouse. You know, I was told not to say anything about my family, but I'm not saying it in, in a way I'm actually talking about my family. But, uh, this is what, uh, I'm trying to find that again here.
Oh, I had it here just earlier. Looking at it. Wanted to read you know, something else here real quick. Uh, you know, long story short, it's starting to rain. So I don't want to be on here too long, but I'm trying to find something else here in the in the New Testament. I don't think I said, but maybe it is. No, that's not what I was wanting to find. I'm looking here for, um, oh, here it is, I think, here it is. Uh, let's see, here we go. Nope, uh, that's not it either. Here's another one here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, there's <coughs> several things in the Bible that deals with in times, what's going to happen. And as Second Timothy 3 talks about perilous times and perilous men. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. Even for the believer. For men will be lovers of themselves. Well, you know, people's away loving themselves more than they love their brothers and sisters. Even in Christ. They got, you know, they're so full of themselves on social media and with the selfies and things of that nature. They love money. More than they love uh, other people. They think that they mu you must work for a lot for a lot of money in order to be a, a, a true believer, which is wrong, because Jesus said he never had a stone to lay his head on. So if you follow him, you're going to be poor. Boasters, proud, blasphemers. Which is already a lot of that going on on social media. Disobedient to parents. There we go right there. What Mark. What Mark just said. What I just said in Mark. Disobedient to parents. You know. Parents against their children, children against their parents. Well, I just said there in Mark 13. Mark 13. And father against his child, children will raise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. Right there, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanders without self-control, which is somebody that is without self-control, because when I say something that they think I shouldn't be saying, they get mad. They don't have no self-control. They get mad at me and think that, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Uh, 
brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, hearty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. And from such people turn away. Turn, well, you know, I'm not supposed to have anything to do with being these kind of people that's like this. But, uh, in order to be friends with somebody that is like that, you kind of basically basically they want me to shut up and be quiet not tell the truth well you know what that is not what God the gift God has given me and if you don't allow me to exercise my gift what I like to know is who do you think you are you want to Get an attorney. Get an attorney. But they're going to tell me the same thing that a lot of attorneys told me. In social media. I have the right to preach. And if I want to use uh, stories from my life, from my past, to get my point across. I'm not saying no names. I'm not bringing up, uh, you know, telephone numbers and social security numbers and things of that nature. But, you know. I'm talking about God's Word, and I'm using certain things that's happened in my life as an example of we are living in the last days. Since 2000, since 2000, we are living in the beginning of sorrows. Now it's escalating into tribulation. So watch out. Jesus said, watch out. Paul also said, be sober. Paul also said, be sober. In other words, don't act like you're drunk. Don't even, you know, don't drink at all. Where was that? I saw... Well, anyhow, long story short, I gotta get off here. Read it for yourself. Read the scripture for yourself. Don't just, you know, take uh, my word for it. But I've studied, uh, and if you've seen what was on the screen on my computer, even the Greek meanings and what they really meant then you will understand that I studied and I know what I'm talking about we are living in the beginning of tribulation God bless you have a blessed day